uh, justification to be in Afghanistan was to bring, to bring democracy. Only the situation of the journalists who are being killed, the ladies who are being kidnapped, raped and killed, shows the mockery of democracy in Afghanistan. It's not the real democracy. And unfortunately, I have to say that my country, Afghanistan, produces more than 92% of the world's opium. And from 2001 up to now, it has increased 4,400 times higher. Because this is one of U.S. interests in Afghanistan, and they never stop that. And since they are appreciating and they are encouraging farmers to grow opium. Why? In eight years, they are unable to stop the growth of opium since it's increasing 4,400 times. Six million African people, women, even the small children are addicted to opium in Afghanistan. And after all these that we see, and it shows the true nature of the U.S. policy in Afghanistan. Obama, after the election, Obama came with a view and cry for change. And he gave a lot of promises that we can grow up in, that there is no difference between Obama and Bush. They are all following the same.
to where that road back to it that we need. Today we will be having a country that you have, but it's never going on that side. It's going down for military, killing of ordinary people. If you are soldiers, are being killed, it's just for the benefit of the U.S. government. It's not for the benefit of the people. It's not for the benefit of you. <laughs> Now I think that the first step should be that these two should leave Afghanistan because, <laughs> because the ATL proved that they can, U.S. and other countries can end up with war. They are just to further their own interests for Afghanistan for other countries that they have, and they will never change. And History has shown that no country can grant freedom, democracy, peace to another country as a gift. This is the responsibility of our own people to struggle, to resist, to achieve all these values by giving sacrifices, by getting together, by struggling. It means years of years of struggle that it should come from our country, from our people inside. <laughs> and together with solidarity and your support, we will change, we will get work, and we will do action, we will listen, and we will do it. Thank you.